Welcome everyone to another Factory Friday. I'm Michael and I've got Denny here with me. And we're going to talk about two new things for Sailfish. Number one, we've got this beautiful new gel coat color. We're going to call this Dorado. And we think it's going to be an awesome addition to our color lineup. And the second is the boat that it's on. And it's a 232cc. And uh, today we're going to kind of talk about some of those features. Sitting in the bow area, it's nice, it's deep, it's spacious, it's comfortable. Got some nice handrails here to hang on to. You got cup holders, you got USB ports. Very, very nice. Also, got backrest. Clip up, lock into place. Unlock, back down. Storage box, insulated. Use fish box, ice, storage, both sides. Nice head compartment here, port body, the netting that covers up your electronic access so you have full access to all your electrical systems and breakers down below. Also another nice feature is this M4 box. It's insulated, it's macerated, use a fish box, use it as another cooler, or just storage. That was a nice little quick overview of the bower. Now let's turn it over to Michael and let him show you the helm. Thanks, Denny. Let's take a look at this console. So first things first, a really, really well laid out dash. We've got ergonomic switches up top. We've got our engine screen, an optional MFD unit. Um, in front of the shifter, we have our trim tab controls. One thing that we try to do every time is make that real easy to have while your hand's still on the throttle. Um, we've, we've got a tray up here that will be a console top organizer. And you can see we've got a USB port and a 12 volt plug in along with your compass and a really wide open um, windshield that allows full visibility over the bow of the boat and really unparalleled visibility. When you're approaching the dock, you can see every angle of the, of the hull as you're coming up on it. Up top, we have storage. We have an overhead light and we have PFD storage above your head at the helm. You know, Danny, one of the cool features about this optional leaning post is that it's got three functions to it. So in addition to having just regular standing and seated positions, it has an option where you can remove this backrest. And then at the same time, if you'll hop up, we'll flip it around to the, the optional version. We'll partner assist here. When you put it down, now you can face the engines if you were trolling or hanging out at the sandbar or watching your kids play or whatever it may be. But it really, it gives you a ton of functionality in such a such a small boat. Awesome. So fish too. You can put your lines out there watching them. Yeah. yeah, very nice, very nice. Underneath of it, we've got this Ingel 65 with our logo etched into it as well as this nice little cooler slide, which is an optional feature. So it allows you to open it up and throw your, throw your catch in there or load it and get it on and off the boat a little easier because a cooler this size can get a little heavy if you've got it loaded down with refreshments and whatnot. And this, this slide locks in place in the open and the closed position so it can't rock back and forth on you when you're out underway. So moving back to the very back end of the boat with the two platforms that we talked about just a second ago. On the port side, we've got a little cooler for the sandbar so you don't have to get in and out of the boat every time you'd like a refreshment. Uh, on both sides, we have access to the bilge. You open this up and there'll be a little tub in here that's used for storage, but when you pull that tub out, you can access all your pumps, your sea cocks, your uh, bilge pumps to be accessed in the tide plate in the center. And then on the starboard side, we have the ladder, as well as the fresh water fill and the shower over here your uh, battery switches. Lastly, right in the center of the bench, we have the main bilge access. And when you open this up, you've got a ton of room to get in, access your batteries. You've got pumps located conveniently in there, all of your rigging and wiring. And if your boat's equipped with a fuel water separator, it'll be mounted on the back wall there. So this really affords you a ton of serviceability inside this boat. So with a boat that's full of amenities for family and fun and fishing, we think this thing's really going to be a hit. 
Yes, Michael, and also the first time I ran it, although this is a smaller boat that we built, it had a big boat feel and grand phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. So as always, we hope you guys have a great time on our boats on the water and stay boating. Stay boating. <laughs>